Hey, you know what? It is now the next episode. What? We're playing the bonus game of Storm Hill Mystery Family Shadows, and we have a tray, a jar, shovel part, box of matches, a candlestick, a screwdriver, a knife, and an amulet base. And we're kind of destroying the mansion as we go. But that's okay. Okay, what does the greenhouse want? Oh. We can knife this? No. Screwdriver? Yes. We want to make a shovel. Thank you. Where do we need it? Absolutely no idea. But let's go. Back to the bathroom. Hello. Probably need that. For this. Yes. Okay, what is this? Move the coins into the slots of the corresponding color. Can they jump over each other? Yes. That's cool. Oh no. No, I just screwed up. Same principle every time you do this game. Oh yeah. We. It's actually fun. Those puzzles. Okay, what's in here? Oh, a uh, Julianne's dress. Okay. Wood. While reading ancient books, I found references to runes that could attract all the unholy spirits inside the mansion. Draw them somewhere on the wall inside the mansion, and then use the amulet to magically seal the whole house. Use the same potion as when making the amulet to draw the runes. This is my dress. Use it to make a potion. Alright. Let's check first what's happening in here. Oh, candlestick? Uh -huh. Ooh, scary! Statue of the Ancient God. I don't remember the names of them, so I can't tell you which one that was. Alright, is this when we go tree? Oh yeah, we needed bark. Oh. Oh, because- wait, wasn't there like a knife stuck in the tree when we came here in the main game? Like, for real? Oh my god, it makes sense. Ah. But yeah. No. Oh, okay, we needed to burn it. Yeah. There. That was fast. Wow, it changes color. Oh, okay. I'm not really sure why we're doing this, but hey, it's ready to give away its power. Oh, I see. It is charged. I could use this to draw the runes from the note I found. Okay, now, please, jar. Oh, now it's yellow. Blue, green, yellow. Okay. Hmm. Where do we draw? Oh, I'm gonna draw the runes here somewhere? Oh, here? Oh yeah, maybe there were- <laughs> wall. Maybe there were runes here. We came in the main game. Oh no, they disappeared actually. Oh yeah, yeah. No, this was obviously there.
It's I'd better hide that amulet at the cliff. Oh. Yes, here we go. That's right. That was a thing that happened. Oh yeah, and then he wrote P. Sherman wrote like a note and just like, oh I I hit it like at the cliff. Yeah. I did not succeed. They escaped from the mansion. I'll try to hide in the lighthouse. Why don't just leave? They're trying to kill me. Is this really the end? Father, they won't let me pass. I cannot help you. Sorry. It seems that I, I cannot get out of here. Farewell, daughter. Why didn't he leave? What? Why didn't he run away? Why did he run into the lighthouse? Makes no sense, but okay. Cool. So that's, that was her dad, and that's how he, P. Sherman, ended up there. Let's look at some wallpapers. Ooh. Oh, looks like the map. Mansion. Oh, hello. Nah. Oh, no, go away, please. Okay, those, okay, those are the wallpapers. And we have some achievements. Uh, did not find all the morphing objects, not surprised. And therefore did not earn every achievement in the game. That's just the morphing objects left. Get some help from the raven, get some help from the wolf. Complete the bonus game, complete the main game, unchain the mansion, don't let the tree die. Make a potion, kind heart, save all the animals in trouble. Yeah, I wonder again if you can like ignore saving the animals because like, well, the wolf and the rave, you could, the horse you could basically ignore, right? And like the game will continue because you didn't get any items that you needed from that. So I kind of presume that you don't necessarily have, you can like ignore the animals basically. Um, but Or maybe you can't. But that would be kind of interesting if you could ignore at least like the horse and you just play all the entire game and just let the horse like die, I guess. Not nice, but Alright, cool. So that was less left than I anticipated, but that's fine. Let's do credits. Oh yeah, we haven't done the credits. Obviously we need to do the credits for all the cool people at Special Bit Studios who have worked hard on this game. What? That's like less than 20 people who worked on this. <laughs> that's like, wait, this was a special thing. That's like 10 people, if even, who made this game. Wait, 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 come on. Okay, wait, <laughs> hold, hold up, hold up. Okay, Special Bit Studios, yes, developed by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven people. And a special thanks, and you don't know what they've done, obviously, they could have definitely helped out. 7, 8, 9, 10. It's like literally 10 people at max who made this game, and like, yes, you usually, from what I understand from a Hoppa game, you have like an engine and you like put stuff in, but like, there are usually more people who work on them still, especially for like an art net. Like, 10 people at max? I mean, yes, these are s smaller games, but still, that's a lot of work per person. Like, making games is so much more work than you might initially think, right? So, kudos to those, like, seven or ten people. Good job. Nah, but it was, uh, yeah, I think that's it. 
right? That's everything, yeah. So, I think this was a, a cool game. Like, yes, it has a bit of an old Hoppa feel to it, which is not necessarily bad, just like it feels a bit different. Um, sometimes maybe felt... I don't know if that's because I was using the map and jumping around, but uh, it maybe doesn't flow for some reason everywhere as as nicely as some like I don't know from like you know f from Apex or whatever the bigger ones, but it looked good. Like uh, they had voice acting, which a lot of the smaller ones don't. Or the ones that feel smaller don't. I mean it's cost money of course and it's like good voice actors and stuff um and like the story um held up like I don't can't remember that I saw any like super like they're always holes kind of but uh it didn't feel like the story was completely disjointed or anything like that like that was good so a cool game um and also that they had uh, a little bonus game which i think was really cool because then we got to understand okay who was this p sherman or maybe i'm saying the wrong name um it was julian's dad and stuff so that was actually pretty cool uh but yeah hope you guys also hope you all enjoyed the game uh with me thank you for sharing it and I'll see you all for some other adventures, hopefully. So take care and bye-bye.